Hello my dear friends and welcome to Study IQ. I am Joycey Joy and today in this lecture we will discuss about addressing the undernutrition situation in India. Now first of all if we analyze the current affair from the past few years data it is evident that there is a decline in the infant mortality rate and the under 5 mortality rate in India. So this is a significant achievement for India. And this is because of the various schemes and policies adopted by the government in order to bring down the infant mortality rates and the under 5 mortality rates. But here the major concern is that even though there is a decline in the infant mortality rate and the under 5 mortality rate, there is a simultaneous increase in the undernutrition. So from this it is understood that there was a lack of holistic approach in child health care and to address the root causes of undernutrition. So the focus of the government was primarily to bring down the IMR that is infant mortality rate and under 5 mortality rate but uh, overall or holistic approach in order to improve the nutritional status of the children were lacking in the policies and schemes. So in this background we will understand how we can address the issue of undernutrition in India. India. Now let us first understand what is IMR or infant mortality rate. So infant mortality rate refers to the number of deaths under one year of age like children those who have less than one year among 1000 live births. So this is IMR. So in this lecture we will understand what are the measures needed in order to address this undernutrition issue in India. But before we begin, this is our channel Study IQ and we are providing pen drive courses for various competitive examinations including SSE and bank courses, UPSC optionals, SSE JE courses, teaching examination, railway examination, defense examinations, RBI grade B, NABARD grade A, UGC net, UPSC civil services examination, CLAT examinations, for various state PSCs and also for various professional courses. You can visit our website www.studyiq.com for more details or you can call to any of these numbers for more information. Now let us first understand what is the undernutrition scenario in India. So we can divide the undernutrition scenario in India into three types. One is stunting, second one is wasting and the third one is underweight. So first is stunting. Stunting means low height for the particular age. So if a child has 3 or 4 years of age and if the child has not attained the proper height which is required for that particular age it is called stunting. Now second one is wasting. Wasting means low weight for height and third one is underweight it means low weight for the age. So these are the three types of undernutrition scenario that can be identified. Now if we come to the situation in India the proportion of children under the age of 5 years in the standard category that is the first category and the third category that is underweight category has seen a marginal decline. So even though there is a decline in the number of children under the standing category and the underweight category it is only a marginal decline. So we cannot say that there has been a significant decline in the first category and the third category that is stunting and underweight but only a marginal decline. Now coming to the second category that is wasting. Wasting means low weight for the height. So in this category the number of children have increased significantly. So there is a significant increase for the second category or the second form of undernutrition that is wasting. Now undernutrition is a social development indicator. So it implies how much a country or a particular region has improved in its social development indicators. So it is a social development indicator and it changes gradually over a longer period of time. But on contrast there are macroeconomic indicators. For example inflation, price rise, GDP growth, national income, these are all macroeconomic indicators. So they tend to change over a sh short period of time. But with case of social development indicators like poverty, undernourishment, health care, they are all social development indicators and they change gradually over a longer period of time. Now let us understand the scenario of infant mortality rates in India. So IMR or infant mortality rate as we described in the beginning, it is the number of children under the age of one year. So now infant mortality rate. So what is infant mortality rate? 
it is a number of deaths per 1000 live births of children under the age of 1 year and in this regard in order to reduce the infant mortality rate the government had been intervening in the last many years in order to improve the healthcare facilities for the mother as well as the child so in the budget allocation also government had allocated more money for undertaking schemes and programs in order to ensure the health care of both the mother and the baby and as a result of all these government interventions the health outcomes have significantly improved so it means that there has been a significant improvement in the infant mortality rate so there is a significant decline so the situation has improved now if you look at the statistics in the year 2005 the imr was 55.7 per 1000 live births now in the year 2017 it declined to 32 out of 1000 so this is as a result of continuous government interventions in this regard and now coming to institutional deliveries the government had also been focusing on increasing the rate of institutional deliveries and within a period of 10 years that is from 2005 to 2015 16 financial year the percentage of institutional deliveries has almost doubled so in 2005 it was 38 percentage in 2015 it increased to 78 percentage so government interventions in this regard also helped a lot one such example is janani suraksha yojana now with regard to child mortality rates interventions in both neonatal and post neonatal health care have played a important role in bringing down the child mortality so neonatal age or neonatal is referred to a child who is of 28 days or less and after 28 days to 1 year it is post neonatal health care so government interventions and schemes and policies in order to take care of the neonatal health and post neonatal health of the children have also brought down the child mortality rates in india and furthermore there were many schemes introduced by the government like the national rural health mission rm nch plus a rm nch plus a refers to reproductive maternal newborn child and adolescent health so this strategy has also helped so with all this government interventions we were able to achieve better results in healthcare especially the imr infant mortality rate and maternal mortality rate so all these indicates that we are moving closer towards achievement of sustainable development goals so sustainable development goals has to be achieved by 2030 so with all this improvements india is moving closer to the sustainable development goals target of ending preventable deaths of infants and mothers by 2030 so one target under sdg or the sustainable development goal is to end preventable deaths those deaths that can be prevented by providing health care of that of infants and mothers that is imr infant mortality rate and mmr maternal mortality rate now in this regard if we analyze the under 5 mortality rate that is the mortality rate of children under the age of 5 years india has made even a more significant improvement in under 5 mortality rate even better than imr and with regard to under 5 mortality rate or u5 mr india is almost at par with the global average of 39 and this is a result of measures and efforts in immunization coverage and other factors so immunization has played a major role in reducing the under 5 mortality rate in india and we are almost close to the global average of 39 per 1000 now let us understand what are the implications of such achievements by india so on one hand we have seen that the infant mortality rate and the u5 mr that is under 5 mortality rate are declining but on the other hand there is the burden of undernutrition in children in absolute numbers so when we are making a progress in imr infant mortality rate and under 5 mortality rate we are going down on providing nutrition to the children so under nutrition certainly indicates the much to be desired nutritional status of the country so nutritional status of the country needs to be improved and one reason why the nutrition levels are coming down and the imr and u5 mr has been going up is because the government policies or the focus was towards addressing the mortality rates 
and the priority was given to addressing mortality rates than providing nutrition to its children and government policies in this regard reflects the principle of first survive then thrive and this was advocated by the who or world health organization now let us come to the policy shortfall in this regard the government policy in this regard has focused on significant casual factors like the imr or the u5 mr under 5 mortality rate but other important factors like the nutritional status of the adolescent girls and prenatal nutrition have received lesser attention of the government so government had focused on bringing down the mortality rate and then government gave less preference or less focus to bringing up the nutritional levels and the nutritional stages runs in a vicious intergenerational cycle so what is this intergenerational cycle now the adolescent girls those adolescent girls who have a poor nutritional status later they become undernourished pregnant women and these undernourished pregnant women they are likely to give birth to children who are stunted wasted or underweight then again the cycle continues and this is called the intergenerational cycle so here what is required here a big push is required government should pay attention to increase or improve the nutritional level of the adolescent girls so that in future when they become mothers they can give birth to healthy children now what is the way ahead or what is required we have seen that the imr and the u5 mr has come down so it indicates that the total population of surviving children has increased in absolute numbers so as a consequence of this the total proportion of undernourished children has also increased in absolute numbers so now what is required the government need to shift its policy focus towards tackling the incidence of undernutrition so now the government should focus more on reducing the undernutritional instances and in this regard the policy should address the root causes of undernutrition in india and policy interventions are required in order to bring down the incidence of undernutrition in adolescent girls pregnant women and young children so in general we can say that now what is required is a policy shift of the government from reducing mortality rates which we have significantly improved now focus should be given more on bringing down the undernutritional instances you can find the pdf of this lecture on my facebook page and also you can follow my facebook page for my video updates and please write to me at joycy.studyiq@gmail.com for any of your queries or clarifications thank you